Hello again everybody, happy Tuesday, I hope you're all well, and it only really made sense that I finished off and finalised the little M&M Direct haul with the third and final shirt from that particular purchase, with the other two of course being shown in the videos from last week. If you haven't seen those, check those out because there's two very, very cool shirts, with one of those being a very unique country and first for my particular collection. However, I have one more to go, and this one sort of follows the same sort of suit and pattern as the other ones, but which country is this one going to be from? So let's just grab it and pull it out of the uh, bag because there's only just the one left. I don't need that anymore. And let's have a look. So there is the rear of the shirt. You have a blue little number there, and then you bring it around the front. And you have a blue number there. And it's, of course, another Umbro shirt. Don't be too surprised because Eminem Direct have that sort of partnership. Let's grab this and get it open. Oh, yes. There we go. Throw that down on the floor. Where's the bit of paper that's usually in here? There we go. Now then, let's have a look at the rear of the shirt. It's wonderfully plain it's blue which is not too bad because it's chelsea but it's kind of the wrong shade of blue so you know what it's still not terrible now you've got a little sponsor on the bottom there but other than that there's nothing else that stands out but if we bring it around the front hide this tag which is lovely that is present and there we go so it is a continuation of the blue but this time we have a little bit of a rippled wave effect running at the bottom there with a slightly sort of fading uh, what was it? It's got a white colour and then all the way up to sort of a slightly more aqua colour as it blends in with the main body blue. Now, looking at the crest, does anybody else uh, feel like they know what this team is? Um, I don't know and I don't think any of you probably will either. Now, it is from a rather obscure country, but it is not a new country this time, unfortunately, but it's still a very, very cool shirt. So let me dress the mannequin I'll come back to you and explain to you who they are and which country they are from. Okay then, there is the shirt, the third and final shirt, ready to be showcased. But which particular club is it from? It's from Bahir Da Kanima FC. Please do not make me say that again. And this is their home shirt from this season also. Yes, of course, they're all current season shirts, which is interesting because I bought it from Eminem Direct for... £19.99. Now I know the Umbro store had them as retailing for £65 down to £20, which is great considering some of these seasons haven't even begun yet. But this one, I think again, has all sizes available. So if this one stands out to you more so than the other ones, then please add it to your collection because you should be able to before they all sell out, which may or may not happen for some time. You never know how much stock they actually have of these particular teams. Now, the club is based in the area of Bahir Da, which I'm sure a lot of you, most of you will know, is in Ethiopia. Yes, this is the second Ethiopian team from this particular hall, and actually my third Ethiopian team in my collection, which means I'm very, very pleased. It's a, uh, a country that I just didn't really expect to get too many shirts from. To be able to have three is definitely uh, plenty to be going on with. I don't th really feel like I need to add some more, but you never know what will pop along in the future. Now, the club was founded in 1973 using the Ethiopian calendar once again. If you convert that in the uh, Gregorian calendar, that works out to be about 1981. Now, the club does play in the Ethiopian Premier League. Last season, they finished 12th out of about 16 teams, which isn't all that great. But this season, it currently sits in third place, which looks a little bit more promising. Now, when it comes to the history of the team, I mean, there's not really much resources online that you can sort of follow. But from what I can tell, uh, they've never actually won the league. So, um, yeah, maybe that's one for the future. At least they probably like to think they can get involved in a title, especially if they're currently in third. But, uh, yeah, uh, I couldn't really find out anything about them having any major honours. Like the other two shirts, of course, this is an Umbra one. And follows the same design with this sort of... This one's sort of a slightly thinner material, I'd say, compared to the one from Mozambique. 
but again screen printed with these sort of embroidered onto the shirt the only thing that really stands about this one of course is sort of this sort of weave pattern on the front there which possibly could be a influence by lake tanner which is nearby the uh, the area where the team play their football but other than that it might just be just an interesting design that they thought oh well, that's quite smart and we'll go for that but uh, other than that there's not really anything else that stands out they all have this sort of very simple round neck collar um, but it's all about I suppose cost saving isn't it when you're sort of trying to kit and cater to these teams from these African countries so those are it those are my three shirts that I bought from m and Direct there are actually a few other teams that are actually available but I didn't need them in my collection surprisingly I think there was maybe one for my Botswana and possibly there was a few that I didn't have sponsors so I naturally avoided those but um yeah i was happy with the three for 60 pounds for three shirts 20 pound a piece you really cannot go wrong i always try and advocate you finding any shirt from under 20 pounds i think especially if you're looking to begin your collection now and you don't necessarily want to go for maybe the popular teams you want to start going for something a little bit interesting then this is the best place to start really i think 20 pound is that perfect spot right now to pick up the cheaper shirts before you start going crazy like i have and start buying these sort of special edition ones but let me know which is our three do you actually prefer i think design wise i think you know what i think the mozambican shirt just stands out more so just for everything the design the obscurity um those two things that really um make that shirt but you know what these are interesting designs and I'm, I'm pleased to grab them. So that's it, really. I suppose that's the end of my Eminem African sort of little haul. I don't think I have any more coming from Africa. Um, it's not too often you see them, but you never know. You never know. What I have left available to get, though, is... I don't know. I might have to open up one of my boxed ones just so I can get that out of the way. But I have a really, really nice shirt for sure to show you on Friday. But that is it. I hope you uh, have a great week ahead. Thank you as always for watching my videos and goodbye.